Hello, you sick and twisted fucks. My name's Tim Sala. And I'm Brad Magnumer. And welcome back to Corpse Party. Yes, I was going to say that, but I like you saying it better. Thank um, you. So, yeah. Uh, we, there's a Naomi, Seiko, fucking shipping scene. Who doesn't ship them bitches? Oh, come on, let's, let's just face it. They're totally tech gays for each other, which is great. Um, Except that, yeah, one of them is quite dead. No one will tell anyone. Oh, she can't. She's dead. Yeah, and everyone else is dead too. Anyway, well, enough but... about necrophilia. <laughs> um, Let's go back into the actual game. Yeah. Um. Now, what in the flying fuck would they be looking for? I mean, we know what the, the others are looking for. What, what are these two looking for? You could. And a way to get back into the old building. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is go and try and grab the thing in what's at the in that school room. Ah, yes, that, that would be it. That would help. No. What are you? What? I wasn't touching it. Oh, right. Sometimes, I don't know. There's I a way to say that my um, laptop, it has a a thing. If you hold down a press button too many times, it kind of auto-presses it. I think there's a way to disable it, but when I type it into Google, it's too many words to try and describe it. And it comes up with a bunch of random results that are helpful. Sticky keys! I know how to stop sticky keys. Sticky keys, sticky keys, and I love the sticky days. Coming. God damn you! Not this again! Yeah, exactly. God damn it, not this shit again, fuck you. Yeah. Light change position again. Now, would you mind waiting here for a second? Sure, no problem. And now to fuck off and find somewhere else to go. Oh, come on. <laughs> she's keen for the D, and she's got big titty. So. No. Keep it. <laughs> now, me. Now. Grab it. Don't talk to me like a rookie. Okay, okay got it. Oh, custodian's key. Holy shit. There you go, Brad. What you've been wanting ever since chapter two. I know, right? Nicely done in there. Grabbing the key and stuff on the floor, picking things up. Wow, good job. <laughs> in fact, you seem a little unfazed. Did you figure out what we needed to do on your own or something? Actually, I had to do something similar before with Seiko. Did you? Same here, but with Yuka. Let's keep moving. We'll find her, I know we will. Yeah. The door is locked. There is an erratic noise, just like static from within. That is a television, isn't it? I did find that video cassette in the other building. Kabiki Research Data 2005 11 19. That is the most backwards fucking date ever. Fuck you. <laughs> it might hold some important information. If only we have some way of watching it. Fingers crossed, I guess. Use the key? Why, yes. Let's hope he's not in here. To fuck with us. I don't think Yoshikazu is the, cast, the custodian. <laughs> Who turned out the lights? What the? What's going on? Why is it so cold? Ugh, something really smells. Damn it, Yaomi. Don't piss yourself. And it's pitch black in here. Can you find the light switch anywhere? I'll try. Uh, hmm. That's my penis. <laughs> Found it. Thank you. Thanks. Man, it does stick in here, and it's not just mold, is it? Probably not. Oh, huh, that's odd. What is? Oh, nothing. It's like deja vu. I could swear I've seen this room before. Old beat up kettle. It's old moldy TV floating in stagnant water. I mean, acid, right? Every day through November 18th, 1975, is crossed off with a big X. Cool. Inside the cabinet is a notebook labeled 
Night Guard Logbook, with a few crumpled, crumpled pieces of paper. Hep os he Heavenly Host Elementary School. Uh, confinement tour? Now taking applications. Hmm. Sheets of paper contain what appears to be a seemingly endless list of names. The lettering is worn, however, making it impossible to con confirm exactly what's written. That could be the list of everyone who's turned up, or it could be the uh, number of name tags that have been claimed. Hmm. It's an old Japanese-style Fusuma sliding door, presumably opening to a closet. It's torn and stained in equal measure throughout the surface. Something seems off from this closet. I get that this feeling is one door we shouldn't open. Oh, look, there's a camera. Yeah. It's a video... Video eight, 8. Camcorder lying on top of the TV. It's a, cas it's a cassette deck. It, there, you know that. Its cassette deck is empty. Its batteries also seem to have run out, however, as the LCD display isn't turning on. What is something that's risen during a place this old? Maybe it belonged to someone who was brought here, like us. Yeah, that does make sense. Unfortunately, there's no cord in hooking up the TV, it's out of batteries, so it doesn't look like we had to get much use out of it. Oh! Looks like a victim's memoir. Certainly does. But I don't think it is. Magazine article here from a publication called Strange But True, Stories of the Occult. It's a follow-up to the previous report. Read it? Well, yes, let's do that. Chasing down the hidden paths of the cursed school building. Follow-up by Kao Kubiki. Uh, what was they do with this? Sort of like a news reporter style? Uh, I think it was formal. Let's talk a bit more about Yoshikazu Yanagihori, beloved son of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal Takamine Yanagihori. The man was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could and performed his duties with peerless panache. But then the illness struck, and little by little, his winning personality gave way to pure instinct. He was slowly losing all sense of identity. Although the cause of this illness was unknown, its effects were anything but. Simply put, the good teacher had begun reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long forgotten festival, perhaps, given to him by his late mother. His behavior during class degraded quickly. More often than not, his lectures would cease before the period's end, and he began wailing mournfully. Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and murder incident, Yoshikazu reached a point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Although he could still understand others, he became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. Given all the evidence mounted against him, Yoshikazu Yanagihori was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and desecration of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes, nor even properly discuss them with the authorities. Everything hinged on the testimony of the sole survivor, one Sachiko Shinozaki, age 7. In search of the truth behind the less scientific afflictions in this incident, this incident's burn, I, of course, chose to follow the trail of this mysterious little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying the story may remember Sachiko Best as the girl with the strikingly unusual red dress. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone so young forced to watch other children her age being tortured and killed one by one. And certainly, if I were to find Miss Shinozaki and secure an interview, there would be some real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's been a full-grown and hopefully well-adjusted adult for over ten years at this point. By now, she should be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objectivity, and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. That was, gives you a bit of stuff to think about, doesn't it? What's the matter? I'm trying to remember her backstory. I, like, her... Because I know, um... Was it Naomi's mother disappeared? Um, I know Naomi's father died, I believe. And... Uh, Seiko's mother disappeared. Yep. Yeah. Um, Ayumi, as far as I know, there's nothing wrong with her parents. 
Um, I'm just going off. One. I don't know if any of her parents even mentioned in this game. The reason is just yeah. But yes, they do have the same last name. That's what I was thinking. Relative is possible. Yeah. Why? I'm impressed, Shinozaki. You're far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless, in fact. I was, <clears throat> I was scared out of my mind. My brain is still struggling to make sense of all of this. Okay, but look, the ghost is gone, I guess. We really managed to appease it. Uh, are you alright? You should probably dry your tears and blow your nose at least. What the hell? Not on my shirt! <laughs> Dumbass! Didn't I tell you before that you shouldn't say things like that? What are you, two? <laughs> That's really gross. <laughs> not good. She's not normally like this. Shinozaki. Alright. You had a girl so, on your bed all right, in an apocalyptic this. scenario and you did nothing. Alright. We'll get some saving done. Like, subscribe, and all that bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I will <laughs> go and... Do a wacky adventure of some description. Yes, I will team up with a dog and take a lot of acid and walk around talking to fucking lolly people and shit. Adventure time! Sugar, do, 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 do. Bye. Toodles.